This video will show you how to write very big and very small numbers without taking up an entire page in your notes. Scientific notation uses powers of 10 to write numbers more efficiently. So what is a power of 10? To answer that question, we have to review exponents. An exponent is a number written as a superscript that tells you to multiply the base number by itself that many times. For example, 4 raised to the second power means 4 times 4, or 16. If I raise 4 to the third power, I'm saying 4 times 4 times 4. 4 multiplied by itself 3 times, or 64. For scientific notation, we'll be focused on powers of 10, or raising 10 to an exponent. It works the same way. 10 raised to the second power equals 10 multiplied by itself twice. 10 times 10, or 100. 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10, in this case, 1,000. 10 raised to the fourth power is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And if we multiply all that out, we get 10,000. We can use a power of 10 to write a big number more efficiently. For example, 54,000 is the same as 5.4 times 10,000. And because 10,000 can be written as 10 to the fourth, we can write 54,000 as 5.4 times 10 to the fourth. Without going through this analysis each time, you can quickly write a number in scientific notation by hopping the decimal place over until you get a number between 1 and 10, counting as you go. For 54,000, the decimal place is implied at the end, and so I'll hop it over 1, 2, 3, 4 hops to get a number between 1 and 10. 4 hops means that in scientific notation, my exponent will be 4. That's an exponent of 4 for 4 hops. Here's another example. 29979000 is the speed of light in a vacuum in meters per second. To write this large number in scientific notation, I'll hop my decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hops. So 8 hops gives me an exponent of 8. That's an exponent of 8 for 8 hops. To convert a number from scientific notation into regular or decimal notation, move the decimal place back the other way, adding placeholder zeros if necessary. In this case, my decimal started out right here, and I need to move it over 5 spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And so to fill in those empty spots, I'll need one, two, three placeholder zeros. My final answer in scientific notation is one, zero, six, zero, zero, zero. On this screen are some practice problems for you to try. Pause the video and write your numbers in scientific notation or decimal notation to fill out the chart. When you're ready to continue, press play and I'll walk through the answers. For my first number, I'll need to move my decimal place over one, two, three, four, five hops to get a number between one and ten. 
And so my answer in scientific notation will be 4.02 times 10 to the fifth. The number in row number two needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hops of the decimal to get to a number between one and 10. And so the answer will be 8.6 times 10 to the seventh. Row number three, the decimal isn't at the end of the number, but that's fine. I'm just going to start where the decimal is and count over until I get to a number between one and 10. That's one, two, three hops. And so in scientific notation, this number can be written 5.2009 times 10 to the third. Now, moving back the other direction, I'll start by writing my number and then count my decimal places, adding placeholder zeros as necessary. One, two, three, four, five, six means that I will need one, two, three, four, five placeholder zeros for this number. My next number. My decimal place started out right here, so I'll need to count over one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops, got carried away there. And I have the wrong number. Let's try that one again. Need to count over one, two, three, four spots only. And so I'll need these two placeholder zeros. My next number, start by writing out the digits. And my decimal place started right here. And I'll need to hop it over two. So that means the decimal isn't even at the end of the number and I don't need any placeholder zeros. 178.75. This video has covered using scientific notation to more efficiently write very big numbers. Click on the next video, Scientific Notation Part 2, to find out how you're going to write very small numbers in scientific notation.